What's going on, Dragon Brawlers? Scott Sedman back again here for London Players Guild, your guild master, of course. And today I am breaking down the top seven leaders that need a reboot as voted by you, the community. And if you want to get involved in these top seven Tuesdays, you can, of course, by following the link in the description below to the Dragon Ball Super Card Game Community Discussion Group. And in at number seven, we have set to Android 17 and 18. So this was added by John Alcantara. Sorry if I said your name wrong. And it's a leader from, well, set two. It's the Android 1718 on the Awaken side that reduces the cost of Android cards. Um, it also powers them up. And it was our first leader that really introduced that getting open to six, uh, awakening at six life. So you would awaken at six. And then you would get your 5k boost at 4. And I thought that was a really interesting way of doing it. And I honestly, yeah, I, it's a leader that I think could return. Especially with Androids being in yellow, green, blue and a bit of red. So like they're, they've mixed and matched into pretty much all the colours at this point. So I think a return to that set 2 Android. And maybe focusing on bringing it, not necessarily making it a multicolor support, but like making it work with some of those newer androids would be really cool and uh, yeah that was number seven guys set to android 17 and 18. coming in at number six is set to cell uh, added by h genderless blanca ramos with 26 votes um we have set to cell now this card is uh, this leader i should say is one of my favorites from back in the day i really liked how it utilized putting cards underneath it um, and then removing said cards to gain effects later down the line. I think that's a really unique mechanic. I liked it with set free boo. So more of that and experimenting with what leaders can and can't do is definitely something I'd like to see a return to. Uh, I also really just want to see, return, see a return to green cell. Like, I f like not necessarily just a cell chain, but I miss mono green cell. There's a few great cards for cell, but they've gone into that territory of green yellow and that's that's fine it is what it is but i wanted just a pure green cell hand control support um that you can also use with the cell chain because it's still technically playable maybe maybe that's it maybe that's how you can balance the cell chain without needing the free drop is something on that leader to make the cell chain viable and then you can use rib ends and stuff and Really, really hammer home a cell hand control deck, but done right this time, or at least future proofing for more cell cards in the future. I think that's a really cool idea, and I can definitely see why it earned the number six spot on this list. Coming in at number five is another set two leader. You're getting where I'm going with this now. It's uh, Goku Black, and Goku Black, I think, is one that we can all agree probably should get a reboot it's been errated um due to the unison warrior series it got errated to stop uh, any funky energy sh uh, energy shenanigans i should say um but it is one of those leaders that it was super cool back in the day it was turboing your deck especially when you had objection like you could do some crazy stuff with it objection um zeno button unyielding spirit trunks like that that would go uh goku black was super scary and super powerful uh you can on obviously on the awakened side you get the double strike and really punish and push in on your opponent so i think a rebooted version that supports maybe mono blue ramp uh, as well as some other interactions with maybe more Goku Black cards, that'd be really cool. Like, and make it a specific Goku Black deck. So I'm looking at like the boss monster Goku Black from set two. That'd be really cool if it supported that. Rather than going down the Zamasu and feud Zamasu route, just like keep it a Goku Black deck. Um, yeah, I, I would really like to see that. I think that would be a really fun inclusion. I think people just really want to see Goku Black get its own time to shine. And I don't blame them. Goku Black Rosé is awesome. Uh, yeah. There's not much more for me to add on to that other than that's coming in with 26 verts and it was added by Wajtek Milk Mikos. I'm sorry if I pronounced your name wrong. I know who you are as well. That's the upsetting part. Like I see you in the judge group all the time. Um, but yeah, 
So technically that was a tied for the fifth place, but we've got to give it to Goku Black just a little bit more because it's been errated, so it's like, uh, we might as well just make a new leader. Um, so yeah, that's my logic for putting it at number five. Coming in at number four, added by Ben Devigan with 50 votes, so now we've doubled essentially the votes of the last one, uh, is set for Piccolo. And this is huge. I did not expect this to get so much love. I know there's a player out there in Sheffield, Steve, I'll give you a shout out. Um, he loves Namekians. He's been playing them for as long as they've been around and for as long as he's been playing, uh, which is awesome to see. Uh, we we even featured one of his matches on the stream, if you go and check out the two-star ball event. Um, unfortunately, he just didn't see the pieces he needed. Uh, and again, an updated version of this leader would really help that. You, Namekians have kind of been all over the place. We've got them in green, we've got them in yellow, got them in blue, like, uh, there's some red Namekian. Like, I wonder if they could make a way to bring that together. That'd be really nice. Maybe upgrade the leader. And obviously, when you're playing Piccolo, you have access to Sacrifice, which is a really powerful negate. I still think it's really strong. Um, so I, I guess could see more stuff with that. Maybe more, uh, maybe one that starts with Planet Namek on the board, maybe help that out that way that'd be really cool which would then allow you to go in that to that slug package which is devastatingly strong so there's lots of potential there lots of potential there with a rebooted piccolo hell maybe even support with like special beam cannon or something like that that'd be cool uh but that's more or less i think the leader is strong being able to self-awaken uh control what you're doing a bit better i think i think the starting with planet namek is probably the change i would make but again i'm not bandai you guys feel free to leave what you would do to these leaders in the comments below and so yeah now we're getting to the top three the exciting part coming in at number three added by wim eliano uh mr bunny boy himself we have Harudagan getting 60 verts. And I think it's a leader that doesn't need any explanation for those who played it when it was around. It was part of the Storm meta. It was a really strong deck. But since then, Harudagan didn't really see any support. There was a power booster. And then there was the green and multicolored cards that came out in Dragon... Nope. Giant Force. I was going to say Dragon Brawl. Um... So then we got the Giant Force stuff. And I think Harudagon gets put into two camps here. There's people who want to see original support for the Phantom Demon and doing the blue stuff. The blue chain, make it easier. Awesome, go into that SR from set four, do some really cool stuff with it there. Self Awaken, I think, is the key to Harudagon uh, being rebooted. But then you've got the camp that wants to see it work better with the new stuff. So I think there's an argument for both sides there with the reboot. I personally want to see it stick to the set four because that's more in line with the spirit of a reboot rather than trying to uh, retcon it to fit both, I guess. Um, you can always just make a new Hirudagon leader for that, the multicolor stuff. I think that's a fair trade, but like Phantom Flame cannons and stuff like that, the set four good stuff, Hirudagon, with uh, a nice self awaken, maybe um, a less restrictive draw. Uh, You've got Hoy as a super combo still. Like, there's so much potential and changes you could make to the Harudagon leader. But it's a really strong leader. And I think, yeah, that would be an amazing addition. It is just get that self awakened. Wait until turn four to do your plays. Kind of feels bad, especially in today's meta. <laughs> so, yeah, shout outs to Wim from the Distinct Few for that. Coming in at number two is another set two leader with Vegito. Yeah, I think everyone knew this was going to make a fan or a community list. Uh, so this was added by David McFall uh, with 75 votes. And yeah, people really love Vegeta set two. It was our first taste of multicolor, so to speak. Uh, it was a really unique leader and we haven't really seen anything like it since. Um, I think the adding the draw power to it, adding a bit of self-awaken, and then maybe helping it get to that, uh, support the black cards that require four different colours to play, 
maybe just lose the restriction of what's the there's one color it doesn't become i think it's yellow maybe just add that to that color pool um and yeah i think it's all like the leader it, it feels good just not great at the moment like it needs that extra addition to it but i don't think you change too too much with it i mean maybe you can lose the power boost and then the milling because we don't really need that per se anymore but then again for people who want to play the set 2 vegeta you kind of do need it so it's one of those where you've got to balance with what we have now and what we had then and finding that nice middle ground for it and i think vegeta is the perfect leader that kind of can benefit from a reboot because it's a leader that a lot of people love to see um in action really it's just a really fun deck and again it was a super unique leader and so i think people want that leader to be really good and i can't fault them for that that is a really good leader so david mcfall with 75 votes coming in at 70 um at set two vegeta at number two vegeta sorry not vegeta uh and number one stealing this um this poll by a long shot it's a landslide victory here for 119 votes this was one of the original cartel leaders i put on the list and yes that is indeed set free pan i think it's the one that everybody in this game from a certain era wants to see and then i think you have a lot of new players who want to play with pan because she seems really good on paper and she is really good on paper but she's lacking that self-awaken and just maybe add some unison support i saw that as a comment and i was like that's kind of nice i think adding some red unison support would be really spicy for pan like maybe if you play a unison with 20k it gains a marker or something i think that'd be really interesting and open a lot of cool doors especially with the gohanks you've got sin shenron you've got uh, jiren you've got uh, vegeta sr vegeto sr i keep doing it i keep calling vegeta vegeta i don't know why but yeah pan is absolutely without a doubt a leader that i think everyone can get behind being rebooted i do know bandai have seen the poll um so that is an incentive for you guys to vote and comment on them when i do them it's not just for the content here whilst originally it was uh getting a message from bandai being like we see it thank you keep it up um that kind of gives me a really positive outlook going forward and i think the next few polls are going to be really interesting and yeah i want you all to get involved so you are seeing this this is the first top seven tuesday i'm doing this was a community edition sometimes that will just be my personal list maybe peter will get involved maybe other players from around the community will get involved maybe you'll see some pro players and stuff like that the, the possibilities of this list listicle series is endless but i do really want to emphasize that when i make these polls in the community discussion group that they are seen by bandai it is feedback so please don't just ignore them and if you want to join that facebook group the link is in the description below it's a lovely people or 19k uh, members and it's just a really good time and i implore you all to join it I have been Scott Seven, the Guildmaster for London Players Guild. I implore you to like, subscribe, and share, and I'll see you next time.